Hey guys, Brett at Russell Marine Products. Today we're going to talk about point one, using that for our GPS and our heading sensor with our Larantz units. Stay tuned. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about our point one GPS and the, and the benefits of doing that through our NEMA backbone. Um, on this boat here, we've got our point one at the back of the boat. So we're going to use that on our console unit for our GPS and then for our heading as well. Then on our front unit, we're going to just use that for our heading sensor. And we're going to use the internal GPS from that front unit. So we're going to walk through uh, how we set that up on our units and, and what we need to do on our, our Pro 10 here at the console. So first, we're going to go into our settings. We're going to come down to our network and then our data sources. And the first one on our data source selection is GPS. Now, when we click on that, we get a drop down that says all data global. First thing that we need to do is change this to local. So we come over here to the circle with the triangle and it gives us a scope here that says global. We want to change that to local. And the reason we do that is because the global and local settings, kind of confusing for some people, the global settings is if we've got our whole network all set up. When I change one, it will change the other. Whether it be this point one uh, information, um, our transducers, things of that nature. So when we do local, what we're doing is we want to pull the information that we want from this unit just from this unit. So that unit up front can be separate, okay? So we change this to local and we come down here and we've got auto point one, point one. We've got our HDS 10, our internal, and then we've got the 12 that I have up front. So for our GPS, change it to local and point one. So now when our GPS is pulling from this unit, it's pulling from the point one and that's it. Now we come down to vessel and when we click on that, we see our heading here. When we click on that and the drop down there says point one. So this unit we're going to keep in global for our heading because we want that point one to share the heading to both this unit and that unit. That's why we keep that on global. But for our point one, our GPS part, we want this one to be local and that one to be local. So two different places, GPS and our heading, and we've got local and global, okay? So again, GPS on this one, local, point one, vessel. Our heading is gonna stay global and we're gonna use that point one. So that will also share that point one up there for our heading. All right, now we've got our, our console unit set up. Let's jump to the front unit and we'll show you how to set that one up real quick. Okay, so now we're up at our front unit here. So now we're gonna go into our settings. Same thing, come down here to network, go to data sources. Now on the GPS, remember when we get that drop down, it says all, all data global. We wanna come over here to that circle. Scope, we wanna go local, come back here. Now, it's already selected the point one. The reason that was is because we were in that global setting. That's why we don't want to keep it global because we want to separate the two units. So now they're both on local. So now we can tell each unit what we want it to pull from. So on this one, I want to come down here and select my HDS 12 Live. So now when I mark anything up here on my ghost transducer, it's going to pull from this unit, the internal GPS, not the point one at the back of the boat, which would put us off quite a ways. We want to mark this one right here by this transducer. So again, local on this unit for GPS, tell it to pull from the 12 live, the internal GPS from this unit. Now we click on vessel, we click on heading, we keep that global because we want both units to share 
that heading sensor. You see it's checked here with the point one. Now we've got both of our units set up correctly and we've got our point one doing its job for each unit. So again to recap, the point one is a GPS and heading sensor. At the console we want to use GPS from the point one and heading from the point one. We put it on a local setting for the GPS, keep the heading global so it can share to both. On our front unit, our GPS, we want to change that all data to local, pull from the internal HDS 12 Live that I've got here. So when I'm marking waypoints, it's coming from right here. And then on our heading, we keep that global, pulling from the point one so our units aren't spinning around when we're fishing, always pointed in the right direction. So guys, I hope this helped kind of give you some information on how to set that point one up on our, on our boat setup with Lawrence front and back. If you've got any questions, give us a call, 316-313-4113, or shoot us an uh, email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Till next time, we'll see you. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.